Mustache for December. Christmas picture mustache. Here we go. I got Robert Bertuzzo. Actually, I'm switching up, going Simone. Oh, an absolute moofin. Oh, we got two. Simo. November had arrived, 15 games in 30 days. And while the month got off to a good start, a losing streak threatened to derail the large buffer the Penguins had created atop their division. And losing streaks that you want to get off of and get away from as quickly as possible. Still come out a nice little pass I had for Tepon, shooting that star! And it's 5-1 Rangers. We had a tough uh, couple games there. Mr. Shattenkirk, he fires on the shot, it goes through for and went in the net! Any time in a season you have a couple losses in a row, you want to kind of squash that as soon as you can. Losing streak or not, a win in the next game was of prudent interest. No matter when you're playing the Flyers, it's always a big rivalry and it makes it extra important when you're going through a little bit of a skid. To play well against them is important to us. I'm going to ask you about Malkin, and then I'm going to ask you about how physical it has to be. They don't like you guys, you don't like them. Do you guys want to be a more physical team today? Team tonight. I want to do a little bit of both. Anytime you play the Flyers, it's an exciting atmosphere. It'll be a good game tonight. Thanks, Jared. Team in a shot, and that one blocked back by Glass. Another drive. What a block! What a block! What another block! All three of those shot blocks were made by Tanner Glass. Got away, Glasser. Simmons sets it up and here's Shim shooting scoring. Philadelphia takes the lead one to nothing. What? Huh? I have no idea what you're saying to me. Why do I rush that? Just turn around and rip it. How do we miss all that? Oh, mine wasn't even close. I could have put it on my back end and just slid in the net, probably. I could have shot in the middle of the net, I think. Outlets to Crosby. Moving ahead with Dupuis, steps on in, save me by Sick little over the stick by Sid. See you later. See you later. Five hole. Quick. No, five hole. I'm talking about that one who you danced him. He didn't even go down. There's two great goal scorers and two great guys looking at tendencies and opportunities. Get a shot, Sid. Lopped on around now for the turn by Stripe, but he ran into the traffic. Yes, and yes. And here comes Crosby up the wing. Looks and saved me by Emery. Oh, boy. I oh, f***ed him up. God. I saw him going on the breakaway in the first one, and I thought he could sneak it in five hole because he's got a great shot when he's, he's coming in off that wing and he goes low. I know, I know, I know. Kind of left pad, though, no? Sorry, I won't talk to anyone. When you're going, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be so smart, here's gonna bury it. I guess I shouldn't have said anything, really. Maybe he was thinking a little too much, so I, I apologized to him after and said sorry for maybe messing him up or getting his head a little bit. I'll give him a hard time. He wasn't. He didn't put it where he should have put it. How are your legs? Good. Hopefully I got him right now. I was still, you know, really getting a feel to get back in the lineup, and I was still trying to get my legs back, get my timing back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I was going to in it. They're so good at finding each other. Uh, they know how to find open ice. That's why I got to hit the net there. I got a goal. Oh boy. Ooh. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win. A game that uh, we thought we had a lot of chances. The losing streak hit three. A game against Nashville marked the midpoint of the month, and the line of getting Malkin centers started to convert some of those chances. Gino made a great play against Nashville to find me at the net for a little tip play. I found my first one. And once you start finding the back of the net a little bit, it gives you that confidence. We've been rolling ever since. Jokin and Lisa for Brandon Sutter. Rich shot, score! Snapped it right by Mazzonic from 35 feet. 
We played well, got up early, and, and we just kind of stuck with it. A lot of great efforts out there. I think when you look off a guy wide open, back door, you get the rock, and that's going to Sutsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great job, guys. I know losing streak. Winter in Pittsburgh brings change, and among the things falling were the Penguins, losing four of their last five games and dropping out of first place in the Metropolitan Division for the first time all season. Hungry for a net. Hungry to shoot the puck. Let's go quick off the opening draw here. Cooney, 300 games with these guys. All right, you will be starting. Niski, the Reed. Undie, the kid. Holy mad. <laughs> His partner is from Montreal, Christopher Latang. I want to be a billionaire. <laughs> Cooney, these guys traded yes. So them. Number 14, Chris Kubitz. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the other wing, Cali as well. Bo Bennett. This guy throws one heavy right. Number 87. Oh. Oh. Riding the ship against the Ducks was the fight on tap. Here we go, man! Here we go! Come on, Gibby, eh? Let her loose. Goalie, goalie, goalie! The Penguins couldn't get much going early. 17 minutes into the game, and they had yet to record a shot against the NHL's best team. Let's make the first one count. Let's get some shots here! Wire it! Ah! We'll take a dirty one at the cage! Shot! Ah! Ah! Have one, Gibby! Have one, Gibby! Get there, come on! Shoot it, Gibby. It's your first one. You're not gonna score until your, until your second shot, so. Brian Gibbons was making his NHL debut, and while he was looking for his first career shot, the game was looking for its first score. Stay wide, go D to D. If our center comes low, we can still use them, but we're staying at the dots. If we swing wide, can we come back through? Yes. That point? So if they just wait for us to come swing wide and then come. Right, so if you come in the middle, we can't pass it out wide because it's the guy's right there, F2 is right there. Keep playing quick against them. We had some good shifts there in the offensive zone. Keep going there, Gibby, keep shooting the pill. Here we go. Swing set. Gibby, you're swinging, Gibby, you're swinging. No, you're not. Should have been, I can tell it. That's you, Gibby. Get that big. That's it, kid. Come on, kid. Oh, oh lovely play. That's you, Gibby. Find it. That's his first National Hockey League goal. Give me! Gibby's first NHL goal came on his first shot. His celebration suggested otherwise. Yeah, we got it, Gibby. You're supposed to go nuts when you score your first. You don't get to say I'll have to see guys' his first reaction and their first goal on that one. I commented on it. looked like he scored an own goal. looked like he put it in his own net by the way he celebrated. Not even, not even celebrated, lack of celebration. Most of us were a little more excited when we got our first goals, but I think for half a second he wasn't sure if we went in or not, but there wasn't a whole lot of uh, celebrating. There was more celebration from the bench than there was on the ice. It was a big goal too. and. Uh -huh. I think, I, well I asked him after if he, if he knew he went in, so he said he wasn't sure at the time, but man, it's a pretty calm kid for being able to put in his first and not crack a smile. He looked like he had been doing that for 10 years already. I'm sure his stomach was turning on the inside, but he sure wasn't showing it. Flower, good job. But you know, a couple right. big plays, but uh, first game, first game back in the NHL goal. Oh, Not going to get any Great job, stay in the course. And then Gibby took over there, having a great play from Gino. Gibby, did you, did you know it went in? What about the celebration? No. Love it. <laughs> Celebrations were in short order as a showdown in the nation's capital loomed. Yeah, three. Good. Good guys. Oh! <laughs> oh. Looking to establish themselves as the best in the Metro Division, the Penguins played their best game of the season. There's two teams that are in the top of the division, and it was an important game for us. We wanted to stay in first place. We've been a little up and down throughout the season. 
the Capitals game, I think, was our best game as a team, and we built off that, and uh, we've been playing some great hockey since. We played a really complete 60 minutes. Great efforts from a lot of guys. Sid scored that unbelievable power play goal. This is unbelievable. You talk about skill, precision, awareness. Malkin to Kunitz to Neal to Crosby to the back of the net. And then heading into the next game against the Islanders, it came down to the last minute or so, and we get a four-check goal. Cooney dumps it in, hammers the guy, and Sid finds himself wide open on the back door for the pass from Duper. And that's a huge goal. Late in a tight game, that's a, a character win for our team. Those are two big division games for us against very good teams and teams that we're going to be competing with all year. That's, uh, that's a big win. Um, I thought third period we played really well. I mean, we didn't give them too much. And uh, that was, uh, I think, three in a row, but uh, four in a row is better than three, so let's keep it going. You really don't want to look ahead in the schedule, but you're playing a road game against the Boston team that tops in the conference. A chance now for Soderberg. Over to play him and get a good gap on him as Paul Martin. Look out, Erickson up to the goal. Back his head, he scores. We get behind in that game. We stick with it. Fight and scratch and claw the late goal. And we draw even. Five seconds to go. Back his shot. Score! Sidney Crosby! We'll see. We'll see if it's on time. When we tie the game at that point, I'm thinking there's no way we're going to lose this. All the momentum was on our side, and I thought for sure we were going to win that game. And, you know, they pull one out in overtime. Krug, he's fired, scores. Bruins win 34 seconds into overtime. Again, <laughs> tie it late with point three. I thought we thought we played pretty well there too. You do need to take the pauses from those games. At the same time, you got to find a way to win. It's the bottom line. That's how I am there, going north behind and playing shift after shift. 168 more periods on the hockey this season. It's our challenge to play everyone the same damn way. The game starts with us getting seven to one in shots, really playing the way we want to play, uh, take a penalty, and in a few short seconds, it's in the back of our net. Leafs score here, right off the hop. There was a stretch in that Toronto game where we were just awful. We made three or four very costly, blatant errors that we cashed in on. Look out, they score right off the hop here again. Started the second period, they got two quick ones, and they kind of feel that deflating feeling. We definitely got behind early, but with this team, no matter what the score is, I feel like we're always in a game. We always have a chance to get back in a game. We always have a chance to win a game. Towards the end of the second, we just started getting going. We found the back of the net on a power play goal. We had one disallowed, and we just kept chugging along. No matter how many goals they went up, we stuck with it and told ourselves we weren't going to lose this game, and, and we went out and did that. We didn't give them any opportunities, any shots, except for a long period of time, and we were going to win that game. He has a chance to win the game right here. Malkin against Bernier. Scores! Game over. Penguins win a wild one tonight. The Penguins fought all the way back, something they're all too familiar with. As the month of November was coming to an end, the injuries were not. We've dealt with injuries of having your star out to having a numerous number of players out of your lineup. When you got guys going down all the time, it's tough to get into a rhythm, especially for Niski and Sutsi. It's tricky when they lose, say, a forward in your top two lines. It kind of has a trickle-down effect and guys get moved around. So it is tough to keep chemistry throughout the course of the season. It might take a game or two to get a feel for your new line mates, but we've done a pretty good job of adjusting. Look at the guys that have come up. Gibbons played well with us. And, and uh, Magna's been up, Zach Sill's up, and Chris Connor, Andre, these guys are all guys that have had a contribution to our team, even though they want to play a couple games. The strength of your team and the strength of winning hockey is in the depth of your team. To have guys step in and play the right way is what we expect and, and have been able to do. Everyone wishes they were home for Thanksgiving. When you're a kid, those are some of your favorite times, and that's kind of the one thing you do have to give up with the job we have. We appreciate what you're doing. You're playing hockey for a living, and I think you can sacrifice a few holidays for playing in the NHL and doing something you love. Despite spending Thanksgiving away from home, the Penguins were still able to catch up with a family member they hadn't seen in a while. 
I loved seeing Tomas show up for a team meeting in a suit and tie. He could have showed up in his beach wear, but it was good to have him around. Crosby to Sutter. He's got the puck behind the net. Scores! He banked it in! The Penguins have a 2-0 lead. It is a power play goal. The power play up to 700 point. Sidney Crosby became the fastest active player to reach 700 career points. His 703rd was equally impressive. Guys are all over him, they're slashing him. He still finds a way to hang on to the puck and get a shot off. Crosby to the goal, he scores! The Penguins win it in overtime! You can't say enough about Sid, the way he plays and the way he battles every night, and I can't say that's the first time I've seen him go between two D-men who made a great play to finish it off. San Jose has always been a really tough regular season team. Since I've been here, we've had tough games against them. TK is coming back to town. I think everybody's going to have a smile on their face when they see him on the other side. No more! Oh. Oh. Over, over! Oh boy, and the old boy tricked me. Tricked you? Tricked me. Oh yeah, he called for it, yeah. He yelled back, back, back. Good puck there, Tanger, good puck. Sidney Crosby had it knocked away to the near side. Threw to the net, next goal! Brooks Orpik shot in as it jumped into the net behind the Emmy. I think Pasco Dupuis got a stick on it. Pretty sure that went straight in. Yeah? <laughs> He's pretty certain. Did he tip that, Bob? Did he tip that? Cooper tip that? Better have after that celebration. The celebrations continued as the Penguins scored four goals in seven minutes. McNeil steps in front. He can't pull the trigger. Cooper shoots and he scores! Nice play, Nier! Even after a game ends, the players move their feet. A post-game workout is routine for an NHL player. After games, a lot of times we take advantage of an opportunity in the schedule to get a workout in, because you do want to work out during the season to kind of keep your strength, maintain what you've built up in the off-season. A majority of our players, based on their time on ice in the game, where their health's at, take the opportunity to work out post-game. I've found you feel fresher later in the year if you do work out during the season. It keeps you strong, your muscles firing. If you don't do anything all season, it, it does take a toll on you by the end of the year. Regardless of preparation, there are just some games that don't work out. The Penguins learned that lesson the last time they were in Boston. Less than two weeks later, they were back. And while the outcome was similar, the takeaway was much different. Everyone's quickly clear. A big hit on the near side by Orpik on Louis Erickson yeah. sent him flying backwards. They went after him. There's Thornton with it at his own run. Marshawn is down right now. They've got some other extracurricular activity going on. Thornton now wants a piece of Orpik. He's got him down on the ice and he's taking shots at Brooks Orpik right now. And I hope Brooks Orpik is okay. Brooks, Brooks Orpik was down on the ice and he took a couple of shots. He's still down on the ice. Sean Thornton took it over the edge. He took it way too far. I just hope that Brooks is okay. The Penguins lost Brooks Orpik to a concussion and another heartbreaker in Boston. Now the Charlie scores! Took a little wind out of ourselves there. Everyone was kind of worried and it's hard to think about hockey when you see someone get uh, get hurt like that, especially a teammate and a friend. It's hard to see him go down like that. It's scary, to be honest with you. So um, we're glad he's doing all right. That's a sigh of relief. In addition to losing Orpik, Pittsburgh lost forward James Neal to a suspension. Perhaps the only thing to gain was a reminder that the health and safety of all players is paramount. Not the smartest decision I ever made. Obviously, I'm sorry, and like I said, I'm glad he's okay. I need to learn from it. I'm hurting my team, and I'm hurting myself, and it's something I shouldn't be doing. With the holidays fast approaching, the Penguins put on a show for 10,000 local kids. Goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury took center stage. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, look at Oh, a little sneaky. 
Brand new glove. Close to the canceler. No cigars though. Nothing. I read you like a book. You know those kids' book? That's what I do. The old glove, eh? Never fail. Oh, juice. Nice shot. Thanks. Okay. I don't know. You alright, Max? I'm good. Yeah. You, for you? you good? Yeah. Yeah, you? Yeah, you good? You told me you're gonna run him today. <laughs> I, I told you I said run Z. If they, if they don't score, they go get the puck and bring it back. James Neal. No! Right there, dude. Not a chance. Attack! Not bad. We'll give it to him. Good shot. Oh. Fuck check! Oh, sneaky. That's sneaky. Yeah, good try, dude. I give you the jumping jack because it's still under me. <laughs> yeah, he was trying, he was getting mad. Come on! You let him score! <laughs> they were begging for him. For him to score? Uh, no, for not to score. They oh, were, really? They knew the, kid, the person was going to the stands. Oh, nice, nice. I tried a cartwheel in a breakaway. Did it work? Oh, I didn't stop it, but I don't know if my legs were good, though. The Penguins were getting ready for the second leg of the race. As the season neared its halfway point, Pittsburgh sat atop the Eastern Conference, exactly where they want to be when they cross the finish line. Sati Gibby, you see! Get into the cage! Job. Fun to win, yeah. It's fun to win. A lot, a lot more better than the other. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. Three to one for us is better than. Yeah, three to one for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah.